Hi, I'm James here with Tactical Response, and uh, some of the some of my subscribers asked me to do a uh, video on shotguns for home defense. Um, in general, uh, I like Remington 870s and Mossberg 590s. My personal shotgun, which this is not it, but uh, my personal shotgun is a Wilson Combat 870. If you if you got well, like an old beat up 870, it's seen better days, uh, I man, send it to send it to Wilson. They'll go through it and they'll make you a really nice fighting shotgun out of the thing. Uh, and I'll do a video on the Wilson gun in the future. Um, let's talk about a few uh, a few fallacies. Uh, one is that that makes people run away. It, it does not. The only time they should hear that is after a shotgun blast. Um, taking an unloaded gun to, to a gunfight is absolutely stupid. Uh, I've pointed shotguns at people. Trust me, just pointing a shotgun at people gets their attention. Um, so that, that's all It's all absolute nonsense. Another thing is people say you don't have to aim them or you can't miss with a shotgun. That is absolutely not true. In general, out of a cylinder bore uh, shotgun, uh, like a home defense model Remington or something like that, a buckshot or actually just about any shot spreads at about one inch per yard that it travels down range. So at three yards, it's about three inches, seven yards, it's about seven inches, 15 yards, it's about 15 inches spread. And so that, uh, th so you can miss, especially if, you, if you're very close. Another, another thing that I don't agree with is using birdshot for home defense because it still will go through <laughs> walls if you're very close to them because it's just a wad of pellets and buckshot and birdshot and the slug out of the muzzle are all about the same thing. Um, but the, uh, the thing I want to be able to do with my shotgun is if somebody's hiding behind a wall or a couch or something like that, I want to be able to shoot through the damn thing. Now, people will say, well, what about my kids? Well, you have a handgun in your house. A handgun will go through all the way through your house. So don't don't act like that, that this is only capable, possible with a shotgun. And if you're really worried about it, you need to use the AR-15 because of uh, and because those rounds, because of high velocity projectile fragmentation, they break up in wall boards sooner than nine millimeter or buckshot or anything else. So if you're really worried about over penetration, use ball 223 ammo like XM193 or something like that. But I digress. Another, another problem is that people, people think that just magically when you shoot somebody with a shotgun that they're instant, instantly incapacitated, much like the 45 ACP. Shoot somebody with a shotgun or a 45, they disappear into a cloud of smoke and a shower of sparks and they're never seen again. It's just not true. There are many, many, many stories of buckshot and slugs bouncing off the human skull. It's happened many times. You have to follow through, you have to stay on it, and just because you wave the magic shotgun at them doesn't mean they're gonna go away. Um, another thing that, that another fallacy is that uh, you need to send your shotgun to somebody to get them to cut the barrel so that it makes a tighter pattern, or that you need to buy uh, special ammunition that keeps a tighter pattern. I can give you the cheapest answer to that problem. Put a damn slug in your shotgun. You basically neuter the power of a shotgun, the spreading pellets. You neuter it when you do that. That is, that is why shotguns work so well. So if you can imagine somebody's 15 yards away, you fire that shotgun and they're running and you, your aim is not perfect. Pow, you might only get you know, four or five of the nine pellets in them. But if you would have had that shotgun tightened, you wouldn't have got any pellets in them. So let leave the shotguns alone. Let them do what they were designed to do, and that is put shot out there. If you need to tighten your pattern, put a slug in it. It's the cheapest way that you can get that done. And while we're talking about ammo, I only use full power buckshot uh, and slugs, uh, two and three quarter inch buckshot and slugs. That's it. I don't use any of the tactical stuff. It is low penetration. And, I, and, any, and anytime it says low recoil, that means it's low power. I mean, that's just, they put less gunpowder in it. Uh, if you can shoot full power ammo, then by all means shoot full power ammo. 12 gauge versus 20 gauge. A uh, 20 gauge uh, is still twice as powerful as a 44 Magnum handgun. And anybody that can shoot a 12 gauge can shoot a 20 gauge better. It's just that it's just that simple. So uh, something like a uh, for home defense for a female, I recommend, or even a man, I would recommend a uh, Remington 
youth model 20 gauge Remington 870 youth model 20 gauge and uh, the the youth model has a shorter stock which I like which this shotgun has all my tactical shotguns have shorter stocks and uh, and they just fit better and they, and it's easier to fight easier for you to fight with them um, so those are some general observations about shotguns for home defense and things like that um, the the shotgun uh, people want to get their their shotgun shortened so if you can imagine, I'm going to put this right up to the camera. That's that's the shotgun. That's how much distance it takes up. Okay. Now I'm going to draw my pistol. Almost exactly the same amount of space is taken up by my arms extending to shoot my pistol as it is the shotgun. Getting short barrel things doesn't really make you any more compact. I mean, it's the, the difference is negligible. So uh, 18 or 20 inch barrel shotgun is fine. Uh, cylinder bore with a bead sight and th the bead sight is the most misunderstood aspect of a shotgun um, this site these sights are regulated for 100 yards so point of aim point of impact put the bead on something at 100 yards press the trigger if you do your job it'll hit that target now between the muzzle and and 100 yards because shotguns have the trajectory of a thrown rock that slug is going to be high so you know 25 50 75 yards it's going to be above your line of sight so if you're shooting at somebody 25 50 75 yards whatever the case may be you'll need to aim low to hit them and so knowing your shotgun what your shotgun does with the loads the slugs that you're shooting is imperative now a round of buckshot has nine a full power round of like Winchester buckshot which I like has nine 33 caliber pellets I don't get any copper plated pellets or anything like that because I want them to do stuff that buckshot should do and uh, so I just get lead pellets nine 33 caliber pellets it's not that dissimilar to pow, a nine round burst out of an mp5 submachine gun uh, except it's all at once uh, my pick for home defense is Remington 870 shotgun with full power buckshot I got slugs on the side saddle and uh, I can't think of anything that inside the parameters of my house that would be more lethal and uh, uh, more able to protect me and my family uh, certainly uh, rifles do a good job but uh, I, I don't think it can be disputed the lethality of a 12 gauge is pretty much the most the most lethal thing that we can put on our shoulder as civilians and, and shoot. Uh, absolutely, uh, absolutely fantastic. So when you're considering using a shotgun for home defense, I say use full power ammo. I say don't worry about the bird shot and, uh, and rack the gun before you need to shoot it. Um, and that's, that's a personal decision about like how you store your gun and stuff like that. Another thing to be careful of is many shotguns many shotguns do not have a drop safety uh, so if you drop a lot of shotguns especially older styles like 870s and stuff there is a potential for the gun to go off this is why uh, cruiser ready for police is a loaded tube in an empty chamber and they get out and they, they do that it's funny because police departments don't they, they kind of forget history that's what they do with their patrol rifles too in, in most departments it is a loaded magazine in an empty chamber and they get out and rack the bolt just like they did with the shotguns but they did it with the shotguns because it wasn't drop safe but AR-15s are drop safe and AKs are drop safe so it's really we're, we're doing stuff because somebody told us that they used to do it that way doesn't make any sense uh, if you have other questions about shotguns or home defense stuff or anything like that that I can help you with I'd be I'd be glad to help you you can find more out about our training at tacticalresponse.com you can find more out about our students and our classes and stuff like that on our discussion forum getoffthex.com and instead of sending me a, a private message here on YouTube asking me uh, a question about a gun just go on getoffthex.com where I've answered tens of thousands of questions and you can get other smart guys opinions too. Uh, Facebook.com you can check me out there James Yeager of Tactical Response and uh, there's any number of ways to, to get in touch with me so if you have other ideas for videos that you want I can't do all of them some of them are just uh, beyond the scope of YouTube uh, but, I, but I enjoy hearing from everybody. Um, thanks a lot. I always enjoy this. I hope you like my shirt.